Opal, Scuttle Crab him, heading over to the pot side to grab that one. And then he can continue clearing through his blue side jungle and get a refresh on that blue buff. Potentially even hand it over to Krogsnip, he's feeling very generous. But for now, he's looking bot lane. They might look to dive this as early as level three. Well, remember that exhaust is still available. The heal down for Denvox. Need Denvox a little low on mana. So we're pushing in and now Vayu, level four. Has to find a good Cosmic Binding. Denvox needs to flash, but he's not going to get it off in time. And that's first blood to Rai. Bebop's trying to buy some time. The exhaust is enough not to find the shutdown. It's a double kill picked up, and that was nice. It was close for a second, but ultimately he gets to play, gets out. The tower extremely low. Now the question is, is he going to TP back in? To oh, they used the tower? cannon brush, they used the flash, they used everything. The cask is layered. Teleport's coming down. And now Hidden's going to get himself some damage put into Ray. Denvoxley stepping forward. Gets pulled in with a face breaker. The Haymaker's going to get used. And Bebop buying some space for his team. Lundorf joins into the fray. Gets knocked up. Eats a tangerine. And the pineapple gets popped. Now a lot of damage being used as they use that, that bullet time. Interrupted by the Glacial Fisher. The Haymaker's not going to find his mark. And Bebop is popped means they can push the wave in deep bot side so Rai has to go and answer that before it can get pushed in now they actually might just find something on the pulse here showstopper's gonna get used and he is melted through Lundorf trying to dodge away as Crogson's getting chunked out for the moment the team fight is on Denvox League on golden for the moment he's just to try and get some distance away throws out the chains he's kiting away Vayu is gonna live as the bullet time is enough to find the kill Bebop flashes away Nilly comes in forward where Haymaker finds the kill doesn't find that ultimate from Lundorf. Can't quite find the kill. The health bars are low. And there isn't always much you can do against it. Scoot's looking to walk in here. To find himself the GLP. Scoot gets caught out momentarily. Is nearly charging in forward. This should just be the end of the Rift Herald. It's been picked up, but no one's able to answer it out. Bebop puts up the Unbreakables. The scatter lands onto a couple of members. The Unleashed Power gets blocked out by Nilly's Haymaker and Vipers unable to get themselves onto the Herald here. Ultimate does connect and Bebop gets taken down. The bullet time's enough. Paulson greeting. Haymaker not going to find his mark as Paulson gets another scout of the week off here momentarily. They haven't been able to pick up the Herald though. Vipers do keep their mid laner alive this time but Rai's closing in. He's looking for the bullet time uh, and Rai gets himself caught out but he's able to live momentarily. The arrow comes down and Den is putting that damage out of the chest. He's looking to spread. Den finds himself one. Got himself a double kill already. Scoot's coming in. They've got a teleport. Den's flashing away. He's kiting the team. Showstopper is buying space as Nelly's trying to find himself the ultimate haymaker. He gets that damage down and Lundorf throws out the cannon barrage. Chasing in for more. Scoot's jumping in forward. Jumps away once again from Lundorf. He's in the midst of two and Krogson's closing in. But that's the shutdown for Lundorf. Bebop's jumping in forward and Nelly is able to get away. Scoot lives in Lundorf, crucially able to get away. Elastic accuracy. Yeah, so typically you see that when your first time is playing the Rune King to make up for the lifesteal, whereas crit AD carries, like Rai, who go full crit, get the lifesteal and the ruins, but the Vox need very much a lifesteal connoisseur, and now we're seeing the posturing come out for this dragon that has spawned. Again, it's Soul for Singularity to secure. Lundorf. Vi Viper's that positioning. Level Lily TP in. in. Vyu's found Den Voxney. They're trying to buy him some space, buy him some time. Den jumping away. The Unleashed Power's been thrown down. And look at the damage Den Voxney's going to be able to do. He gets pinned in place, though. All of the CC's layered onto him. And Den is still kiting inside the pit. And one versus three. He's going so low. Everything gets used onto him. The barrel's there by Lundorf. It's going to get a free man barrel off. But he is already chunk low. Slowed down. Pulse is buying some space, though, for his team. Trying to find that more damage. Lundorf able to heal up and gets knocked up as he is running away. The flash gets used. A double kill is picked up and Paulson now, he's the only one standing. Vayu not going to take that magical journey because it would be his demise without the rest of his team. Paulson is going to die. Vipers looked for the play, looked for the fight and ultimately they lost. Paulson is just buying time for his team. It's a delayed ace for Singularity and they will get Soul. Break out. And Lundorf will not have his Infinity Edge for that as a... Uh, Scoot needs to be a little careful. Den may look for the chains here, but needs to find himself an opportunity. As Scoot jumps over the wall. Den, once again, is going to be able to dodge away this time as he now gets caught out of the Glacial Prison. Everybody's coming in. The cast gets used. Den's kiting for now. Scoot's getting the damage off, though. Buying some space for his team. Hidden gets chunked out. Scatter the weak onto Scoot, but with the Ocean Soul, with it being a Sejuani, he's just too tanky. And Den Voxney consistently being CC'd so no one can actually so he can't put out that damage and no one will go down 
They can heal up now as Demboxny is just assassinated by Rai. And this should just be the game now. Without Demboxny, the cannon barrage has been used. The towers are already weak from the earlier siege. And now Lundorf and Polson caught in the wrong places. The bullet time will be enough to get himself a killing spree. That is the last turret falling. The Nexus has been left open and 33 minutes on the clock. Singularity. They come into the final week looking for blood, looking for revenge, and looking for their first place back in the standings. The Nexus goes down and Singularity take the win. Cosmic Radiance available to Vio as well, which makes his life a little bit rougher to actually get any kills onto right there. Legion's making his way down. Ultimate not available quite yet, but that bullet time is coming up. The Rift Tail gets summoned in the mid lane and Scood jumps on. That's the Cosmic Radiance into the bullet time. Everybody's immortal and that's First Blood already picked up. Hoist flashes forward, chases into Rai and finds himself a kill. And the fight is turning around. The teleport's coming in. Quincinus has joined in, throws out the slow, gets caught out by the laser beams though. The and Legion jumps in forward. The barrier's been used. Legion pings back out. Nilly's onto that flank. Nilly flashes in. He's going to get jumped onto the Rocket the showstopper is so big, but it's not enough. Joykin finds the kill, and Dusty find the team fight win. Krogson has to run away as he's getting spotted out. They're Only on is side. looking for him. New's going to find the kill. Legions jumps over. They're giving it to the AD carry. Hoys finds the kill. Bayou is just going to get sacrificed to the turrets as he is being run down by Only and Legions. Moby Boots coming in. Only should be able to catch him. If he gets a flay, Legions might get it. But he'll just take the kill for himself. Oh. Either way, huge team fight win there for Dusty. Five members down for one. Clarity. The it scaling has not come in yet. The slogan of the Nordic Championship is any team can be any team. This game proves it more than anything. Singularity looked like a force to be reckoned with. Looked like the strongest team in the region. <laughs> oh my lord. Krogson getting chunked out. And Dusty are sieging up. They're going to open up the mid lane inhibitor turret. The bot lane inhibitor is being focused up. The top lane inhibitor tower is being focused up. And Dusty are cracking open this game. Wide open for themselves. And Singularity have no way to answer. The damage coming down from Legions with the loot and Zeko, the Death Cap, and the uh, Meje Soul Stealer compared that with his uh, Infernal Soul. He is just chunking members out left, right, and center. Dusty, they're looking to close now. They put the ultimate on the tower. They've got themselves a kill onto the mid lane, and the wave clear is dead. They've got the flash, they've got the flight. The Petrifying Gates has been a couple of members in place. This Hoist gets down the bullet time. Three kills, four kills have already been picked up. Rai is the only one who's standing, and Hoist gets a quadra kill to round out the game. Dusty are very much with a chance of making it to playoffs and what a way to send off that is the win that will do it dusty are in playoffs we have our top four and nordwind are out singularity couldn't hold up against this dusty side